know, back in the early days, those guys weren't just tradesmen. They weren't just craftsmen. They were artists. Those dudes were good. Even I bet you that everybody in this place tonight has somebody in their family, whether it was your grandfather, your uncle, somebody who worked and built these old buildings. They had so much dignity and so much pride in what they did. I'm here tonight because I want to spark something in each of you that maybe, just maybe, you never thought about and inspire you to see things differently than in the past. You know, I believe that Pittsburgh is such a resilient city that we have every talent needed but not fully tapped into from the white collar yinzers to the blue collar yinzers. We're at a place where we just simply don't have enough tradesmen to repair, rebuild, or restore the buildings in this city. You ask any contractor what their main concern is. I don't care what contractor you talk to today. One of the, one of the biggest things that they have their concern is is they can't find good quality, competent help. That's where the Trade Institute of Pittsburgh steps in. You can get depressed by the issues that we're facing around the world, you know, whether it's social issues, or um, affordable housing, terrorism, um, climate change, but I, I have a lot of faith in the human race and I think it's just time that we just redefine who we want to be. And I think the solution is in cities. And I think, you know, if we as developers respond to the needs of cities and cities work with us to actually create balanced approaches to development, I think the future is going to be very strong. Besides the ponds on the streets, we put townhouses with steps, again, to create eyes on the street. We decided no brand name retailer. We picked a retailer, a baker that used recycled bricks and, um, and wood to create a space. We built a silo on site so he could store his organic grains and he ground those grains and made flour on site. And then he attracted a free trade coffee place. Then next thing you know, the natural path turned up and a chiropractor. We even got an environmental lawyer to move in there. But this was all about trying to create a value-based approach to a development. You know, when people think of development, they see it as a threat. Right, and it's a real threat to their sense of self. So the key is, how do we create the human capital to help people see it not as a threat, but see themselves as part of the process of the growth? The most impactful thing I can say about the Trade Institute is we're able to take a student from zero to a living wage in 90 days. A self-sustaining wage in 90 days. Also, in this past year, we've been able to attain an 82% placement rate jobs that pay $12 an hour or better. The Pennsylvania reincarceration rate right now in the state of Pennsylvania is 22.5%, which means every person that gets out of jail, 22.5% of them are going back to jail within a year. In the Trade Institute, we've got that number down below 5% and declining. We're at a point in time that's very important. Um, and we're doing a lot of dreaming and inspiring, but Eventually, the idea is that we're seeding ideas in you that you take to action, right? Because now's the time, now's the place. We have the people, we can measure the performance, we need to do it for the planet. And so let's go forth and do that. I could stand here and I could tell you what inspires me, but I thought I'd do it a little bit different. I want to introduce you to the men that I entered, I draw my inspiration from. Come on. Some of the best guys you ever want to meet. Thank you and God bless you.